a, uh, a little bit of a reason with some of the stuff I did probably a year or two ago on the Apollo uh, connection from V2 to Apollo. But it's more emphasized in this presentation. I put it together for the uh, space celebration we had in July, celebrating 50 years since the flight of Apollo 15, and that's the command module we have at the Air Force Museum, because that was an all Air Force crew. So this is a prelude to next week's program, which is going to be concentrated more on the Saturn systems and the Apollo systems and the actual mission of Apollo 15. But I thought I'd go into the details on the technology that led to both the ballistic missile programs and the space programs of both the United States, Russia, China, everybody that's done it now, uh, both the German uh, effort on the V2 uh, for the technology that they ended up using. So that just basically got improved over the years to what we ended up using in Apollo and everything else. So to get started on this, oh, uh, one other announcement. Um, I'm going to be doing the plane talk at the Air Force Museum. Uh, we've been playing all kinds of little COVID-19 related issues. That's all taken care of, I think, at this point. Uh, so that's going to be one for Pearl Harbor Day, which is actually today. It was moved by the museum 